Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming More Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues, the Enclave Reformed. We are now playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. Because California has fallen and now that I am the California, I get all of the problems that the NCR had and it turns out there are quite a few of them. We also need to be very concerned about the fact that Kaisar's Legion is, uh, well, massive and if the two attack me, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> this campaign may very well end in failure, but by God, I'm trying. The followers of the Apocalypse. Perhaps the oddest faction of the Wastes is not those Boy Scouts in Powered Armor, or the Khans, who probably never even heard of Mongolia, but rather the followers of the Apocalypse. Neutral and respected by all, they have tried to bring a brighter... a brighter by future, teaching, and healing. Brighter future by teaching and healing, I'm sure is what they meant. Unlike most of the factions in the Wastes, seek no power over men. Now that more Americans are beginning to see us as their lawful government instead of genocidal maniacs, the followers have asked us to expand throughout the new reunited states. Although they might improve the standard of living, some fear their anarchist ways could harm our nation. But surely we can't persecute people because of their political beliefs, can we? You clearly didn't stutter our power history. No anarchists in our land. This will bar... This will bar is from future support for followers. The Constitution guarantees their right to assemble, lose war support that I don't already have, and gain legitimacy, or subsidize their efforts and we gain lose even more, and also we get national population? Uh, I mean... Yeah, we don't have any war support, and more legitimacy just makes me stronger, so... Freaking heck if we're gonna do it. Alright, I have no idea if that's gonna come back to bite me. It probably will in a horrible, horrible way. Uh, let's see. As far as research and stuff is concerned, we are doing just freaking fine. Not gonna do any of this right now. Protecting California's coast would be good. We have to select some sort of of Vice President, uh, more than 30% for Citizens League, New World Party, or the President. What does that even mean? I mean, right now, the Reconstruction Party is by a long shot still the most popular, and it's going to stay that way for as long as I can make it. Uh, okay. Raiders are going to be a problem. We have to have the National Spirit, underfunded justice system, or anarchy. So, no, wait. We can't have anarchy... And we cannot have underfunded justice system. Hang on. We have follower patronage. We have end of the reformers. That's going to last for a little bit longer. Free press. Counterfeiting. Bank and file. There's anarchy. There's collapsed government. California resistant. Disciplined soldiers. Jingoism. Well, I mean, I see the anarchy. Um, but I don't know what the underfunded justice system is. Maybe that's just like a collapsed law and order system. Still has to be done a couple of times. I don't know. Whatever, we're about to finish with Law & Order, finally. So we're going to try to make this a little bit better. Since the NCR has collapsed, New California has been rife with banditry, corruption, and brutality. The NCR's ramshackle bureaucracy, already overstretched, has all but collapsed despite the Enclave Reconstruction Authority's efforts to keep it in peace. In place, sorry. Gangs and barons rule as they please, and to get the state up and running again will require substantial effort. Some idealists in the New California Republic believe that we need to restore a faith... In an impartial judiciary, a law that protects the salvager and the Brahmin baron alike. Others think we should work with the New California's elite and crush dissent quickly and efficiency. After all, a strict constitutional scholar might question how Granite even became president. Mm hmm. Let's not talk about that. Uh, we could go for the Republic, government of laws and not of men, stability, popularity of democracy and oligarchy, or the lawyers won't stop the Legion, become more aut autocratic. And there goes. Anarchy goes with the underfunded justice system. Consumer goods? Wow. This is really good. Like, really good. But I'm gonna try to be a freaking idealist. I, normally I go with this. Honestly, by nor normally I would have become a freaking auto autocratic uh, king at this point. Autocratic lordy, can I even speak? The rule of law. Alright, so we got that. We can revive the judiciary. And that gets me to the underfunded justice system. And then I have to get to the Bureau of Investigation in order to get the stability and stuff so we can remove smuggling and the new Reno police with the new FBI. Which gives some pretty good stuff. This actually gets me the underfunded justice system as well. Okay, wait a minute. So actually not getting autocracy is fine. We would have gotten it earlier. Then there's iBot patrols. Yeah, so basically we can solve our law and order problems faster if we become a dictator, but whatever. So we have 73 days. What that tells me is no matter what, we're not going to be able to finish these in time to actually get rid of the first round of raiders. 
Uh, what I may want to do is try to revive the Federal Reserve a little bit. But this is what's going to get me my factories back, too. Okay, we're going to go for some level of economic revival. I want to get some of these events going. See if we can't get some of this back up and running. The collapsed economy needs to go away, obviously. We are going to get a round of raiders. Nothing I can do about it. Hopefully we solve it. I don't know what happens. Raiders strike an armory, a settlement, blow up a bridge. Or there's a 25% chance we luck out and nothing happens at all. I mean, wouldn't that be lovely? I don't feel like it's gonna. But it would be lovely. Freaking heck, please give me manpower. I need manpower so bad. The painted men declare war on the forgers. Don't care. Dear God, I'm so scared of the Kaisar. I'm not, I'm not scared of the Washington Brotherhood, but I am very scared of the Kaisar. The Kaisar can, and frankly should, utterly obliterate me. Frankly, part of me almost wants to play this whole thing all over again with the Enclave Reborn mod, but not play as the Enclave and play as somebody like the Kaisar again just so we get to have all the little side effects and take advantage of exactly this. That'd be kind of fun. Still haven't finished with all my reconstruction nonsense. The Brahmin Barons. Oh no. Even after crushing the rebels of the NCR, the Brahmin Barons' wealth and power gives them a stranglehood on Northern California. Some suggest we spend men and laser guns to break their power, while others suggest we cement their position in the United States at great cost to our popularity. Too bad we didn't, we can't give them to the Kaisar. So this is going to be a problem for a bit. For a very long bit. Oh god. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. Let's take a look at decisions. The Brahmin Barons establish order. One of the following must be true. Has completed indefinite martial law. All the following must be true. The FBI, the Voting Rights Act, and 50% support for the New World Party. If we do not complete within 200 days, the Baron's grip tightens. Oh, God. What am I supposed to do, guys? I'm trying. I don't know. But I'm really trying hard. Nuka Land... Before the Great War, New Reno was home to a park full of rides and games called Nuka Land. Although not as impressive as its East Coast counterpart, we could revive it as a symbol of the promise of the better times to come. And we could also test some experiments on the park goers! I knew it. Okay, so Death Claws Pass, or Building Nuka World, which grants construction speed and infrastructure speed reduced. Well, it's better than the plan to poison the world's water supply. Unless this theme park trains Death Claws pass. I... I don't see what this does for me that's better. But I also know that I don't need... Alright, we're building Nuka World. I don't know what it does, but I don't need political power. And I don't have any point in having construction speed for a bit because we can't build anything anyway. So screw it! We're gonna build Nuka World! Maybe we can get tourism from the Kaiser's Legion and the Western Brotherhood and win the game that way. Get enough tourism that we win the cultural victory. That's what we should do. Absolutely. All right. Counterfeiting is done. Um, so at least that's gone. Um, we're going to revive the Federal Reserve and get a new set of events. We obviously need to work down toward the FBI and stuff, though. Mostly so we can get rid of things like raiders. I enjoy raiding. All right, revive the Federal Reserve is done. Now that we have reestablished the Federal Reserve, there is some debate about new California's currency. If we declare the NCR dollar to be worthless, we can bankrupt some of our greatest foes and distribute the assets to the Enclave's friends and comrades, or we can allow people to convert their NCR currency into American dollars, ensuring an early transition. So, bankrupt the merchant houses, reduces consumer goods factories, and gives me more factory output, we lose legitimacy. No, I can't justify losing legitimacy. We are a very legitimate ruler, and for some reason we gained legitimacy. It said we would get base stability, but I guess because we've accepted an NCR dollar, we gain legitimacy that way. Also, more popularity in democracy and oligarchy and political power. Free of bottle caps, end of bottle caps. Well, we'll worry about that later. Chamber of Commerce is probably how we get our trade back. I'm going to start reviving the judiciary and start getting some semblance of law and order back up and running. Because Lord knows we need it. Uh, we can replace the collapsed economy, and I'm going to go right back to the partial mobilization. Thank you. All right, the economy is no longer collapsed, which means now, do we have factories again? Still no. Still no. I'm not sure why, but still no. Why? No, but for real, though. Like, what, what the heck is going on? Consumer goods is so high, 
Anarchy. Partial mobilization is improved, but still. Yeah, collapsed government and anarchy is a bit of a problem. Joshua Morgan, you're also a bit of a problem. I don't need political power gain anymore. Get rid of you. We're gonna do what? Division attrition. First citizen. War support research. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. I mean, I don't necessarily want elite support, do I? The Citizens League? They're the oligarchs. Still, like, that's pretty nice. But I don't even need research support, so never mind. No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Let's get an EPA to a director. We're environmentalists now! Okay, what decision do we have to worry about? The Raiders? We have to worry about everything, let's be honest. But yeah, the Raiders. Retooling machinery does not do me a lot of good right now. Wartime drafts and reclaim the Declaration of Independence. We have to have some transports in stockpile. Gets events the Capital Wasteland. What do you mean I don't have VBO2 transports in my stockpile? I don't? Are we not producing those? Because it looks to me like we freaking are. It says we got a couple hundred of them. Um. Hang on. I need the Declaration of Independence. I need a national treasure this. We are going to disband these air wings. How? Yes. You disband and you disband. There. Okay. They disbanded. Reclaim the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Someone called Nicolas Cage. Here we go. The Capital Wasteland. Our initial expedition to the Capital Wasteland reveals the damage was worse than we feared. It looks like the region's water supply is contaminated. Super mutants and raiders fight over the Washington Mall. And everything is in ruins. We can stick with our original plan to just steal the Declaration of Independence. We could also set up a humanitarian mission to uh, help the people of the Wasteland. What would be the greater than seeing the Enclave Reconstruction Authority troops occupying the Capital Wasteland? Lose a thousand manpower, gain more legitimacy. Yep. We're legitimate. I mean, yeah, losing that much manpower sucks, but hey, I mean, we're gaining some manpower back. Finally, going to be able to start training up some new troops. Um, We need to get some, like, canoes and things that'll go over rivers, because maybe, just maybe, we're going to need to do something about that. Joshua Graham enlists. Although New Canaan has fallen, some of their leaders have survived and made their way to America. Among the most noteworthy is Joshua Graham, one of Legion's founders. Graham seeks vengeance against the Legion for its treatment of the Mormons and will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit against our enemies until he stands before his Lord in judgment. He becomes a unit leader, and they lose war support. Alright. Sure. Seems cool. Why not? Let's do that thing. Um, all of you guys are going to go to the reserve until I know what I'm doing with these things. We don't even need this many freaking convoys, but I'm going to hold on to them anyway. Okay. Right. Well, we're going to start building up a navy now. Grand Super Navy. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We are in surplus of literally everything. We have a good amount of me uh, power armor coming through. We can start building things like motorized, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. Let's start building uh, small numbers of power armor in New Reno. And we're just going to keep doing this as long as I can keep getting manpower for it. So, Raiders in 18 days. Mechanized agriculture. Awesome. More population, more factories, more everything. Uh, that's still really far ahead of time, so I'm not going to worry about any of that. Engineering. Besides radio, there's not a lot to do there. Naval. Fine. Salvage fighters. I mean, maybe. Could start going for some robots. Tanks. Maybe. Uh, motorcycles. Let's start learning how to make proper motorized. It could be helpful. I don't know yet. Resistance to occupation, where? In the sixes? This isn't even my land. Why should I ca I'm not occupying anything. I don't care. What wars are even going on right now? Men aggression for Glenwood Springs. The painted men. Ah. You're still trying to kill the Western Brotherhood, are you? Right, with the Brotherhood of Mars. How can they gang up on me if they're fighting over the Brotherhood of Mars still? Yes, keep that going indefinitely. We have a non-aggression pact with the Western Brotherhood. Gosh dang it. 
We should be fine. All right, the painted men took some stuff. You, fortunately, are not in Kaisar's Legion. Temporarily. That may change eventually. I have to wonder, by the way, when we had this whole collapsed government, if we had been very illegitimate, what would have happened? It probably would have been horrible, right? We no longer get the effects of End of the Reformers. Okay, so we're no longer, like, just losing all of our reconstruction party. Automatic laser rifles are ready for some upgrades. Sure, I'll start making them better. I'm even going to start producing a few. Let's get some uh, automatic laser rifles. And let's get some anti-tank rifles. You never know when you're going to need them, though apparently I have plenty of them as it is, so that's good. Uh, how are we doing on trade? Okay, so far. Can't trade for anything else at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, this consumer goods thing really does suck. I'm looking forward to getting rid of anarchy. At least we'll get the underfunded justice system so we can get some consumer goods back. Raiders blow up a bridge. We really need to store law and order in this country. The infrastructure was seen as one level of damage. Oh, that's not even that bad. I mean, maybe if we got hit with, uh, I don't know. Maybe if we got hit with the, uh, the armory or something, that would have been way worse. But we're losing one infrastructure. Meh. Still repairing a lot of stuff. There was a lot to repair. I took a lot of land. <laughs> I, I, I took a lot of land. Western Brotherhood, we should form a faction. I mean, you got some serious issues, apparently. I don't know. I wasn't aware of them. But my people tell me you guys are a bunch of psycho nutcases. But even so, I think you should just join me. Wow, Joshua Graham's level 6. He's really good. And we also got Ulysses, who's really good. He looks like the Winter Soldier. All right, Joshua Graham, you can just sit here and make sure that we don't have issues there. We just got the reviving of the judiciary, so that's now done. Okay, so now we want to go for the FBI. Popularity of democracy goes up. Base stability. Remove smuggling. Remove the new Reno police. Gain a lot of stuff. It's good. We're going to do it. We're going to freaking stabilize and get some freaking law and order in this country. Gosh dang it. So construction effort. Oh, I've got factories again. Out of my 176, 13 of them are now available for government use. Well, thank God. Don't I feel special? I'm feeling very sarcastic. I've been recording for something on the order of seven hours today. You might be surprised. But uh, my voice hurts. And at some point, you do this long enough, you just kind of get this mentality of like, I don't even care. <laughs> Friggin' heck, who cares, man? Kill everybody. Do whatever you want. I don't know. <laughs> Joshua Graham falls ill. Oh, come on. I mean, you do look pretty sickly. Outrigger canoes. Awesome. We can build better, sh better boats. More super heavy paddle steamers? Sure. Super heavy battleships are still good, right? Probably. Let's see. These canoes. Upgrade. Barges. I know I'm making I'm losing value, but I don't care. Better barges. How are we doing in terms of a navy? We actually have some capital ships now, right? We got some sailing ships and outrigger canoes. It counts. I don't even have one. New commander. It's terrible. But I'll take him anyway. What do you have? Caustic personality. Number of ships in the first combat act. Wow, you are... You are truly abysmal. Okay. No, it's fine. You're just a miserable sort. Raiders are still on their way, but we'll finish with them so shortly. So we're going to have the FBI. I have 78 days to somehow instill the Voting Rights Act. And we also need support... For the vote New World Party. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about this. They're going to continue to be a problem. How do I gain freaking popularity with the New World Party? I mean, we're getting there, sort of. I guess the Citizens League is not that popular, and nobody wants me to rule. So right now, we actually are moving toward becoming a proper democratic society. Let's go ahead and get some better rifles going. Okay, the FBI is up and a running. So there's a nation reborn, and then there's the Enclave reborn. Oh! Huh. The United States of America. There's a whole nother freaking set to do over here. Huh. Uh, I still think we need to rebuild our nation. Um, question then becomes, do we go for free of the bottle caps in order to end that? Do we could do for the fund of the EPA, which gets me a lot more population. 
Chamber of Commerce to start working on maybe some trade. Lots of infrastructure comes out of that. Um, let's go for... On that, fate of our democracy. Fate of our democracy. We're going to start working toward voting rights again. Gosh dang it all, we're going to become democratic, I swear to God. We are going to rebuild America. We're going to rebuild America. Improved anti-tank. Done. Sweet. We continue upgrading more stuff. What else do I want, though? Aside from spec ops, there's nothing to do there. Uh, we're only a year ahead of time on maintenance efficiency. We'll get there soon enough. Working on motorcycles already. Can start working toward tanks. Honestly, kind of want tanks. Tanks are pretty good, right? Okay, we want to build uh, better anti-tank rifles. So salvage launchers, launchers, thank you, will do the job. Lose a bit of efficiency, but overall not even that bad. We have a lot of Protectron Mark IIs already, actually. I don't suppose we can do something with you. Yup. Well, I'm going to hold off on the variants for now. I don't see the point in doing it this second. All right, fate of our democracy. Um, we do need to fix up our collapsed trade, but I mean, we're getting somewhere. I'm going to switch back over to quality PAs, since we're producing plenty of it. Might as well. Still can't do anything here. Need to go to war. Estimated enemies, 25%. Or, the New Order. Military Department of Education. More than 50% war support, which I have zero. Like, no one wants to go to war. No one even remotely wants to go to war. What's this? Hey, don't I have divisions in Reading? Wait a minute. I do have divisions in Reading. Hey! What's wrong? No, no, no. Wait. What? No, what? We did do this. We'll fail if... At most five divisions, we should have one less... No, 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 no. I think this is fine. Yeah, we are fortifying the north. As long as we have at least five divisions, six divisions here, it should go in our favor, right? That's that's how it works? Okay, we fortified the north, so that crisis has been averted. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make you a permanent fixture. Let's make you dark blue. And then set up a front line on... I don't know. I think we're actually okay in a lot of these spots. As long as the Washington Brotherhood doesn't attack me, we're okay. Set up over there. Or something, I don't know. All right, so that crisis has been averted. Why can't I do this? We have to have three capital ships, and that will get me base stability to show that we are protecting the coasts. OBKB, but we should be done with that soon-ish. I don't know if sailing ships count. I guess they're screening ships, not necessarily capital ships. The barges are probably what you want. Still, uh, can we trade for a bit more advanced technology now? Camlo, please. Thank you. All right, so production's back up to full speed. We are definitely repairing quite a few things now. We're getting a lot more factories in. The fate of our democracy is done. New Reno prospers under our rule. But we must decide how to govern the United States. Douglas's rule has been successful, and he's brought back us back from the brink. The nation has been under martial law since the war. And we could he could cement his power, and frankly, better than we could hope, rule. Or he could aim to restore the United States, risking losing the control of the Enclave in elections and giving power to the natives. Time for elections or presidential powers. We're going full ham. It's time for elections. We've empowered Congress. Although Granite has decided to restore democracy, there are still many who express concern about giving everyone a say in their government. After all, look at the morass of the NCR was. Vault City's mayor has suggested suffrage be granted only to Americans who can something like their old citizenship test, who can probably pass something like their old citizenship test, or those with clean genetic history, these wise citizens should select representatives who advise the president. That sounds like oligarchy. Alternatively, we could adopt the old view of every man a vote. 
What part of democracy are you not getting? Okay, so we gain a lot more of democracy. Cool, we can get the Voting Rights Act up. And then we have an unstable government instead of a collapsed one. Political power gain goes back up. More stability, more weekly stability, factory repair, free repair, legitimacy. Democracy goes up even further, and then eventually free elections. So, how long is that going to take? 50 days. So we are going to have at least one run of the Brahmin Barons uh, establishing their own order. We can go for Vice President Hayes with the New World Party. And that probably will get me a lot more democracy. All right, that's my new vice president. Hayes, for all his criticisms of Enclave's excesses, is a firm believer that America is the world's last best hope. By appointing Hayes as vice president, we will confirm in our faith in the great experiment and that the government for the people, by the people, and of the people shall not perish from this earth. Gain stability, popularity of democracy. Ba-boom! Okay. Hey, we're almost officially going to become democratic. The people is now the ruling party? What? Wait, what? We should have enough power to still be the Reconstruction Party, technically. Well, whatever. Apparently, we are now the people. There are no elections for the people. But we are the people. Alright. Um, expansion from the Washington Brotherhood is apparently going to fire again. The Washington Brotherhood does not exist. Yeah, no, we're fine. I don't know why it's firing again, but I guess it just keeps retesting. Wartime draft doesn't matter. Making sure there are no other uh, events that I would care about. Alrighty then. Hey, good. More units. Nice. Let's assign you guys over here. Hey, Wash hey, Western Brotherhood. How do you like my power armor? Yes. It's very, very nice. We can get the super heavy destroyer. I say we do it. Motorcycles. Let's go for the cars. We can build better motorcycles now. Do it. Dockyard output apparently is very low. Is it really? I thought it was pretty good. We are producing. Are we not? No, we're producing. It's just it is slow. Credit where it's due, but still. That's a lot of motorcycles. We apparently can create an absolute frick ton. Of motorized right now, if we wanted to. Even so. Training up a few more of these guys. Uh, motorized divisions. Well, if we're going to do this... Ooh, APC battalions. Mechanized. But no, we're going to make these guys as motorized for now. We might switch these guys around and have some mechanized later. For now, this is fine. Medical Chem Company. We will want... Well, let's see. Laser batteries does what? Heart attack, it looks like? Mostly, as opposed to things like explosive, which is for soft attack. Machine guns. Suppression bonus. Kind of think I like the explosives better. Um, we'll want the logistics so they can move around unimpeded. Recon, definitely, and maybe the maintenance company for liability. Yeah. So that's my new motorized division. Looks good, right? We can train a few of these, but we don't have enough manpower. Tell you what, we'll just do a few at a time. And we'll make it infinite for now. Let's just start training up some motorized. We'll make these guys better. Alright, um, you can't actually get anything. Automatic recharger rifles are done. Cool. Could work on that. Don't need it at the moment. Could start working toward, like, tanks, or start working toward more mechanized. Or fighters. Don't need them. Don't really need a navy. No one's a threat to me. That's still too far ahead of time to be worth anything. More logistics. Eh, maybe. I think we're just going to go ahead and start working toward plating add-ons. Let's just go for a lot of motorized updates. It's a pretty cost-effective way of getting some good units out in the field. And speed is a friend of mine. We are still generating about 193 manpower. The Barons grip Titans. The Barons established order after the NCR's collapse, but it took them literally weeks to decide to subvert that order to their own end. Across the vast stretches of New California, the Barons rule in their own name, siphoning taxes for their own ends and bribing government officials. This will only get worse until we tackle it head on. You're all terrible people. Lose stability and political power. Oligarchs become more popular. Don't worry. I'm about to pass the Voting Rights Act. 
We can send Dornan to crush the Barons if he had become my vice president. We could also listen to Marcus accept the super mutants. Nope, we have not got that option anymore, so I guess that's gone. Fascinating. Well, we'll see what happens with the, uh, the Barons at some point, I guess. We still have a lot of factories just sort of sitting around. Um, I think we do more conversions. Just because we don't need this many factories. So let's just get much, much, much better infrastructure going. To me, it just makes the most sense. I really have no value in this much more production. Cannot deploy because we don't have any manpower. Well, don't that stink. Cancel one of these. Get some manpower. Deploy the ships. Okay. Um, good news is ships don't actually take a ton of manpower. Right, so we're going to have to end this video here. We've made some significant progress in stabilizing our country. We're about to reestablish the ability to vote. And democracy is soon going to thrive. Which will be awesome. We need to get trade back up and running. And then somehow we need to ward off the Kaisar and really start ramping up my manpower and recruitable population so I can get an army that actually will defend the new America. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.